Today I'm going to take you guys on a tour of a really cool little island chain just south of India called the Maldives Islands. You have probably seen photos of this. It's got some of the nicest luxury island resorts in the world. And it's just right off the tip of India here. So we're going to go in here and we're going to look at it. So it's not part of India. It is its own nation. It's made up of like 1190 nearly 2,000 islands, uh, just little islands all over the place. They're not all inhabited, it's, a lot of them are like really small, but a lot of them are just little coral atolls and things like that, but as you can see, they got these little rings, little patterns that they all kind of exist in, that they're all sort of formed, so look around this real quick. This is sort of the span of what's going on here. So some of the islands are man-made for the purposes of you know tourism which is the biggest deal here. So let's just get into it. Let's look at some uh, 360s. So right here is the Vivanta coral reef in the Maldives. I'm just gonna look at this. If you've got the cash to take somebody on a honeymoon here I probably would. The only reason that I would say maybe you don't because I'm not really sure what the deal is about this but the local population is 100% Islamic and there's some rules that come with that apparently alcohol bathing suits and public displays of affection are actually illegal so I don't know how that works out here I don't know if you just come here and you just go on the beach with no bathing suit or if that's not if that's like an official rule but it's not enforced or what because I mean come on how are you gonna come out here and not be in a bathing suit so anyhow I don't know how that works I'd look into that a little bit more before I went just to kind of clear it up because I would it would be kind of a bummer to spend all the money to come out here and then go to the beach and have to wear like full clothes so um, let's look at this one. This is a, a toll right here. Pretty cool. This beach area right here. Super nice, super cool water. Green, clear water, excuse me. Wow, you can see all the way around this. This reminds me of uh, parts of the Caribbean. They're like, you know, why is the rum going? It looks a little bit like that island. Let's get out of here real quick. Let's go look at this. There's a 360 of a romantic dinner on the beach on one of the islands over here. Yeah, let's check this out. So I hear they have a lot of good like Indian cuisine here, which is some of my favorite. Chicken uh, tikka masala, that'd be good. You've probably seen a. Uh, a lot of pictures of this place like you've probably seen pictures of this place before even though you don't know it and I'll show you the resort that you've probably seen that uh, looks like it. and as soon as you see it you'll kind of notice it so this resort right here where it has this like uniquely shaped like all the houses they kind of come out here from the island and drift out you look at the shape I recognize it as soon as I saw it which was pretty cool because that doesn't always happen when you're looking at it from this angle, but that's super cool. You can drift out here. So, I guess everybody gets around by boat, pretty much. That's like how you'd have to live here. It's really cool. I did find where it looks like some locals live. Kind of like uh, neighborhoods and farms a little bit on this tiny little island over here. So, it doesn't look like really touristy and you can kind of see the fields are cut out over here. And that was super cool, but it just imagine your, your suburb, your neighborhood is actually isolated from everybody else by just straight up ocean. But pretty cool. I guess you could probably, you know, if you wanted to, I guess you probably wouldn't, but you could probably swim from one island to the next. Let's see how it this is. Yeah, it's only a mile. Yeah, so if you're gonna swim a mile, there you go, you can do that. Some people swim like uh, across the 
from Hawaiian Islands to Hawaiian Islands. And I think the one of the like the English channel is more than that. But yeah, anyhow, let's see. Let's see what else we can do. Let's look at this one, this lagoon over here. This is a cool 360. You know, everything looks like this around here, so this would just be a place I'd go. To, I wouldn't go any other place. I'd just go to the same place because everything pretty much looks the same. Um, I guess you land at an airport in India and you take a seaplane out here. That's what I assume happens. And look at these water villas. It's pretty cool. Maybe you just kind of jump off of that into the water, that'd be pretty big, pretty sweet to do. Um, apparently, you have the best odds in the world to see large marine life, so if you want to see like a whale shark or whales or just really any wildlife in general, you know, shark dives or do any of that stuff, then uh, this is the best place to do it, apparently, which kind of makes sense because they got, you know, so much coral reef going on here. It's probably a primo spot for all that, and it's right near open ocean, so I'm sure that that uh, is the reason why it's easy to find that stuff there. And snorkeling is probably super great. Let's look at, I have one more 360 I want to show you guys before we get out of here. This beach super nice as well. Oh look, somebody's trying to do the windsurfing. I'll tell you what. This would be a cool place. I wonder if they're selling these islands. Somebody with a lot of money. If I had a cool billion, I'd probably try to buy a little island out here. Very nice. Oh look, they got little mopeds. All right, well, let me zoom out of here. Take one more look at it. You can just tell the, the color difference in the water, the depth and everything from the satellite. That's super neat. I like seeing that. It gives them these little light blue pockets compared to everything else around it. It's really, really dark. Very cool. You can see right here, this middle area sort of, sort of creates like a border while well, he's outside out. Let's see what one of these little little guys looks like here in the middle. Apparently like some of them can just kind of disappear like really hard to see. Shoot, I don't even know. It's probably, the fishing is probably amazing out here I imagine. But yep, that's uh, what that is. Thanks for following along with me, guys. Subscribe for more videos like this and uh, comment and like it if you liked it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.